Greetings, fair earthlings. I am Smelly B, and I'd like to welcome you either to or back to my channel where the topic of conversation is, of course, all fragrance <laughs> all the goddamn time. Uh, leading with housekeeping, as per usual, I am not an expert, not claiming to be, not training to be. I'm not a niche snob. I'm not showing y'all three, four hundred dollar fragrances. That's not. Oh, I, I got to watch my coin purse. This is for the average uh, fragrance consumer, for you know everyday use, every week, day wear kind of thing. Um, that's all I'm advertising here because yeah, I just think that's more conscious, more responsible. So that's where that's where I am with it. All right. Um, thank you all for joining me as usual. Um, I don't have anything, you know, it, it's, you know, particularly new and noteworthy to talk about, but I want to talk about two fragrances that have been real. I haven't been able to really put my finger on, like, and decide whether I love them or, or, or I hate them. And I enjoy having that experience with fragrances. I like having to sit with them and really, really decide how I feel. Um, one of which I was this close to purchasing, but then was just like, I'm never going to wear this. This would truly just be to add to my collection, just to have, you know, as a part of my big, you know, fragrance story. But I'm trying to get out of doing that, buying stuff just to have it. It's just collecting dust on my fragrance, uh, display i want i want to have things that i'm gonna use gonna wear um unapologetically you know because I'm, I'm a i like stuff that's a little challenging but it's got to be stuff that resonates with me even if other people don't like it i'm cool with wearing stuff that's not mass you know mass appealing as long as it sits well with me this particular one that i'm going to talk about it's just challenging i, I don't how do y'all feel about it? So I'm talking about the newest release from uh, Mesa Margiela um, out of that replica line. It's called On a Date. And that thing has had me in a in a whirlwind because I, I've sniffed it a few times and I keep going back to it at the store. Like, do I buy this? Do I not? Because I want to love it so bad. And there's some, it has some aspect that I can't put my finger on, but there's something about it that is really compelling it's something that causes me to keep like it when i walk away from it at first if i'm like nope i don't like this and then as i spend time with it it's just like but but you know and, and i just don't know <laughs> i don't know how to feel about it. i don't know how i feel have any of you smelled it the notes in it are and i should uh impose a uh an image of the actual bottle um the top notes are black currant syrup which definitely comes across in it pink pepper and bergamot I don't know. The mids are rose, divana, and geranium. The base notes are moss, patchouli, vetiver, and musk. It is very whiny, um, like a deep, deep red wine to me, but it smells like wine breath. You know what I mean? Like sort of how you're on a date with somebody, you both, you eat a good meal, you sip wine, and you forgive each other the smell of wine on each other's breath. It's not, you you understand that wine is tart and stinks, and it's not the most, you know, pleasant thing to sit and have to, to drink in as someone's speaking to you, but we, we understand the context and, you know, life smells, you know, so... But I wouldn't bottle that. Why is this in a bottle? You know, it, it's that smell to me coupled with like this feral sort of musty, not musk, musty kind of smell. Like it smells like body to me in a way. It's got this real sort of carnal element to it, but then it has also got a sweetness to it and sort of like a floral thing. It's just a lot of lot going on at once. And it's well blended. The blend is masterfully done. And, and maybe that's the appeal of it for me is because it's constructed so well. It's just, it's constructed of things that I, I I don't find it wearable. I can't imagine spraying myself down in on a day and actually going out somewhere expecting people not to think that I'm just a musty motherfucker. Pardon my French, because <laughs> that's what I get from it. Um, maybe it's I, I don't know. It, I don't know. It does have redeeming qualities. Again, there's something about it that is compelling and intriguing to me, and I like that about it. But I just don't know that it's wearable. Have y'all got your nose on it yet? On a date. Comment below, let me know how you feel about it, because I'm very curious to see how other people are taking it in. I know all of our noses are different, blah, blah, blah. Out, that out of the way. Secondly, I want to talk about one that I've been ping-ponging back and forth. I go every time I, uh, sometimes I'll get up and intentionally go out to the store to smell it again and see how I feel. Because that first sniff is something, it, it, it just washes me with nostalgia. It's a, such a good nostalgic feeling. It reminds me of 
when I first started wearing fragrances and I was wearing Gap's um, Dream More. I think it's Dream More. There was a Dream and a Dream More. And I, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was the Dream More that reminds me of this fragrance. Um, Victor and Rolf's um, Good Fortune. Number one, I think the bottle is just absolutely adorable. It's got that little charm on it. It's got the little crystal at the top. I love, it's like sort of like the crystal ball situation. I, I thought this was adorable. Um, and I wanted to have it in my collection for my display. So I already went into it sort of with a whole lot of grace. So, you know, hoping to really, really love this and that first sniff. I do. I like it. I'm a jasmine girl. So this has a, a sort of a semi, it's a semi-indolic sort of earthy jasmine. But it's still got sort of a, a cleanliness about it. It's, it's still sort of creamy and wearable. I think it has like a fennel. It's got something herbace herbaceous in the top. Um, to me, matter of fact, let's look at it. Let's see what it actually is. Fennel and gentiana, which is not a note I'm familiar with. It's some type of floral. Of course, jasmine in the middle. And then a, the base is Madagascar vanilla. Um, I like this. It's okay. Um, I, I feel like it's easy to wear, but that's just because I'm used to wearing more complex fragrances that may not agree with everyone's noses. I don't know if everybody will like this or be able to pull it off. Um... But it reminds me a hell of a lot of Dream More, which used to be, I don't know if it was popular, but it used to be one of my favorite things from Gap, but that was many, many moons ago. I think that's what drew me to this. I wanted to love it. I don't think I do, but when I don't have it, I'm just like, oh, I kind of want it. Like I, like, I love it on paper. I love it on uh, textiles, but my skin drinks it up. By the in, couple hours, it's not even a skin scent. It's gone. And, and for that reason, I don't find it worthy of the price. It actually launched at a lower price than it is. For some reason, the price went up. Usually over time, the price will decrease. This has gone up for some reason. And this is like a 1.7, a 1.7 ounce, I think. And I like 90 some bucks. I, I just, I, I want fragrances that wow me and stay with me and are exceptional and exquisite and different and unique. And this just, it's not, it's not, juggle little balls the way I need it to. So as much as I love this bottle and would love to keep it, I promised myself I wasn't going to buy stuff just for the bottle, just to say I have it. Like, I don't want to do that no more. It's good. It's not great. Do you all have this? Do you like it? How do you feel about it? How does it strike your nose? Is it lasting on you? Is it just my skin? Or is... I, think it did, I think it was here that I sprayed it. It's it just doesn't stick around, and I find that very disappointing. I feel like it's something I could have worked with if the performance was good, or maybe I could use it for layering, but it just, it disappears, man. Um, what have y'all been sniffing lately? What you got your eyes on? What's on your wish list? I've got a few things on my wish list that I won't mention now. As I get things, I will just hop on and review them. My birthday's coming up. I'm a uh, Pisces, Pisces season. Woo-woo, any of y'all Pisces? My people, my people. <laughs> my birthday is the 7th of March, so I intend to gift my something, myself something wonderful. I don't know what yet. If y'all got any suggestions for just a wonderful um, niche quality, even if not niche, but a niche quality fragrance, something unique that based on what you hear me saying I like, you think I might uh, need to take a look at, comment. Y'all give me good suggestions, and I appreciate you for it. Um, it is, what's today? Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. I hope you all are well. I hope um, life is treating you kind and you're smelling amazing and enjoying your own your sort of scent aura. And I'll holler at y'all next time. Till then, deuces.